Most of the history of Indians in North America has been erased. Inconvenient Indian explores the disconnect between the history we see in museums and the messy truth. When we try to capture our traditions again, we get criticized for it. My friends who are being arrested. Filmmaker Michelle Latimer has been on the front lines of indigenous protests, an experience that changed her. It's about bearing witness. It's made me more passionate and more rooted in the reasons why I'm telling stories. It feels urgent. That urgency can be felt in a new wave of indigenous films and TV shows, but there are challenges working with the unions and guilds. These power structures that are set in place that for a long time have kept indigenous people out of these positions. So Latimer's making her own club, employing a mostly indigenous crew for Trickster, where a teen wrestles with who he is. Time is almost up. Fighting it only makes it worse. This Anuk actor says that support was crucial. Because there was so much mutual understanding and so much you know, mutual lived experience and respect. Actor turned producer Jennifer Pademski understands creating safe spaces isn't easy, even within her own community. There is a lot of lateral violence. I am constantly looking for safety. I want to feel safe. And I know that other, other people um, younger than, than myself coming up in the industry also want to feel safe. Welcome to the Shine Network. It's one reason why she's launching a new platform to support indigenous women. While the pandemic has disrupted much of the industry, Latimer sees an opportunity. If you look at the history of any pandemic in, in human history, it's always created massive change. And I hope that that's going to happen here. I think it will. Heard him roar, the warrior wild in the video store. A time to refocus as indigenous storytellers seize control of the narrative. And I'm not the Indian you had in mind. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.